Muslims, Exeki, and um, the Islamic movement in general. Um, it has been four years since the Zaria massacre, and justice is yet to be done on the matter. Um, four years ago, in December 2015, the Nigerian army attacked the Husseiniya Baqiyatullah and subsequently Sheikh Ibrahim Zekzeki's residence and Dar Rahma. They inhumanely massacred over a thousand innocent people, among them 297 women, 23 of them pregnant, 248 men, and 193 children. Um, there were 39 families wiped out completely. The army committed heinous crimes that included setting the buildings on fire, burning people alive, murdering infants, and dumping body bodies in mass graves. They went on to demolish all the buildings in Dar Rahma, where many martyrs are being, were buried. And other than just demolishing the structures there, they also exhumed some of the graves. <coughs> I think. Um, okay. All these, all these atrocities um, the army committed um, were claimed to be committed in response to the alleged assassination attempt on the chief of army staff, which by now is more than clear that it was an, indeed an orchestrated plan to kill Sheikh Ibrahim Zekzeki and as many of his followers as possible in an attempt to end the Islamic movement. Since then, Sheikh Ibrahim Zekzeki and his wife Malam Azina and many others have been unjustly detained and the government continues to clamp down on all legal attempts make, made to seek their freedom, <coughs> continuing to attack and kill more people in various peaceful protests and gatherings by the adherents of the Islamic movement. In December 2016, the Federal High Court in Nigeria declared the, atten the detention of Sheikh Ibrahim Zekzeki and his wife illegal and ordered for their immediate release, which was shamelessly disregarded by the government. And almost two years after <coughs> their detention, in the Kaduna state government charged them with some trumped-up offenses in an attempt which is no more than a delay tactic to kill them slowly. Their health continues to deteriorate as, were, as they were terribly injured during the massacre. And that has also continuously to be um, neglected by the government, which has led to the Sheikh having multiple strokes and Malama could barely walk due to her ailing conditions. Recently, it was discovered that Sheikh um, has lead and cadmium poisoning. In addition to several other ailments they are both suffering from, this has led to more intensified pressures on the government, which may have influenced the court's decision to grant them medical leave to seek care in India. After it was confirmed that they couldn't get the possible, me um, the adequate medical attention in Nigeria. The trip was merely to be supervised by the DSS, which is the security um, authority that is holding them. Unfortunately, it was sabotaged by the authorities, for which they were unable to receive any treatments and there um, they were actually taken back to Nigeria without receiving any. Since their return over four months back, Sheikh Zekzeki and his wife haven't been receiving any medical care they are in need of, and <coughs> they have been blocked access to their legal counsel and doctors. To make matters worse, instead of the government at least to release them to the appropriate medical facilities disturbingly, the same court that actually confirmed that the urgency of their health condition has now made the ruling to transfer them to the Kaduna State Prison on the 5th of December 2019. To our surprise also, they were moved there on the same day, and we are currently unaware of their condition in the prison. This is an extremely alarming turn of events.